Hello, hello, it's Katie White and happy 222. I love portal days. They're just so fun and energizing and I have been working on so many things behind the scenes here and I just, I'm so excited to share about them and tell you and invite you in because gosh, I have been in this space of really creating and crafting and digging deeper into my mission. And so a couple of the things that I've been working on are all of the immersive retreats. So I'm hosting two this year. One of them I'm co-hosting in September with my dear friend, Laura Mazzotta, my soul sister. I'm so excited to do that one. And then I am hosting one in June as well in New Haven, Connecticut. That is also going to be so immersive and yummy and oh, so good. And I don't know about you, but I am craving an escape. I am like craving like warmer weather, community, like being held in these ways that are so expansive and out of my normal routine. So if that's where you are too, check out these retreats because they immerse you deeply into your soul's greatest gifts and allow you to really find what doesn't align anymore and help you hold your mission and use your relationships to that deeper level of intimacy that we deeply, deeply crave. Like our souls are here to take in the ex human experiences and bring forward the lessons and the healing that we need. So uh, retreats are just like, they're so my jam. I absolutely love them because we get to just dive deep and be held in sacred space. And so um, that's all what I've been working on. And it's so fun just to be behind the scenes in both of them, getting all the things ready and all the, the all the sales pages and all the juiciness. Ah! We planned the itinerary. And so we know exactly what we're going to be doing, um, and guiding you through in different workshops and just really being able to hold you in a, in a way that you haven't been held before and allow you to use that as what brings you forward. So if you are craving warmer weather, you are craving community, you are looking to get out of the day-to-day -day normal mundane routine, retreats are where you want to spend them. And Laura and I are freaking badass at holding them. We are so good at it. It is definitely our passion. So whether you join mine in June or ours in September, they're going to be fucking amazing. I'm so excited. And I've had so many conversations lately with clients around this feeling of like, I just don't even have enough energy to do anything, right? We're, we're having a really hard time getting motivated and um, like we're like, we know what we need to do, but I just not wanting to do it, right? And this is a, this is functional freeze. This is in a space where our nervous system just is operating as it needs to, to survive. It is survival mode. You are going through the motions of life. And so when you can recognize that, it pulls you away from being so deep into that and into the space of like guilt and shame for not being able to do the things that you know you're supposed to do or that you should do or that would help you, right? And it allows you to detach from that and really just say, okay, right now, right today, I don't have the energy, but what could I do? What would be really nourishing for my nervous system to relax it a little bit, get myself out of being on that hamster wheel of life. And so sometimes that is doing something that day. Sometimes it's dreaming of an escape and a warm, cozy place that you really want to spend some time in. Maybe it's um, calling a friend and having a really deep conversation with them about life and just where you are and where you want to go and allowing yourself to dream a little bit. So I just encourage you to tap into what would really feel good and yummy and juicy for you that might be enough to say this thing that I'm going to do is going to light me up and allow myself just to fully be seen and make an impact on you. That is how you start to release the layers of the functional freeze that you feel like I can't possibly add anything more to my plate. You need to start looking at what can you, what can be added to your plate that would actually light you up, what would actually nourish you. Because when I hear that, it means that you're not doing enough things that you are really passionate about, that really light your soul on fire. And so what lights you on fire? What lights you up? Um, I just did a podcast episode um, with Ronnie and Ryan, and we just talked about natural radiance and what lights you up like a motherfucking Christmas tree. Like what jazzes you up and can you go do that? 
Um, and speaking of podcasts, Laura and I are have an eight episode uh, podcast that we are launching on all about using your relationships as the catalyst for your soul's deepest embodiment. <gasps> and then we just recorded the first episode today and it is so fucking juicy. It is launching on Tuesday. So I will keep you posted. It's going to be on her Akashic Musings podcast. And oh, it's so good. We, we had such a beautiful conversation today. So lots of amazing things happening over in the Katie White Company with collaborations and just bringing forward the services and offerings for you as you find and rediscover your whole your path to whole body happiness that is what i'm here to help you do is to embody that that connection with your soul and allow that space for your human to feel total happiness so if i can help you in any sort of way let me know just have to drop a heart i will send you some loving kind energy and start to help you dream of those things that really light you up that things that you want to do, that you're passionate about. And so if you needed this, pick me up. I hope it makes you feel seen and hopes help. help. Ooh, ooh. I hope that it helps your heart. <laughs> There's a lot of H's there. Um, and enjoy this 2 two portal, this two, two, two portal and um, the full moon on Saturday. So if you are somebody who follows rituals with the full moon, it's a great time to open up space to see what patterns have come up in the past week or two that you are ready and willing to release and let go of that old identity, let go of those old patterns and start fresh by deciding what you want to bring in. So I love you all so very much. Thank you for being here with me and I will chat with you guys soon.